Hi ladies, I am here with a another project share. Um, still working with these um, seeds that I picked up. So I picked up most of them at the Dollar Tree, but then I went to a local store. I mean, my Dollar Tree's in town, which is about 35, 40 minutes away from me. But I have a, um, a store not too far a little bit closer, like 10 minutes away. And I went there and they had some seeds and they were like 50% off. So I did pay more than 25 cents, but still not that much. So I'm still working with these seed packets. And I wanted, as you know, in my other tutorial that I posted a couple days ago, I made these book boxes that hold the seeds so if you want to see more about that then you can check out the video below but this is a box and I thought well mailing this is going to be a little more expensive than the 25 cent seed packet inside so I wanted to make more of a card style seed packet holder and so this is what I found and I will leave the link below to the tutorial I used. It is a card with a pocket and the seeds fit in the top loading pocket. So these are the two, the first two I made and I like them. They're very pretty, but they're still, I don't know, I guess most of my friends and probably will get this phrase. Hello, my name is Anna and I can't make flat things. So Heather, I know you know this. She was the one that said that first. So I can't make flat things. Why can't I make things that are flat? Anyways, I put the buttons that I crocheted on because I had this paper, which is this paper pad here that I got from Joann's, it's Park Lane, on a 60% off door buster sale like a couple years ago. And I really thought it was beautiful, but it is a white core in the inside. So that sucked because if any of you know what a white core is, it means that the pattern is laid over the top of a white cardstock. So when you fold and burnish it most of the time, and now it's not going to work because I'm on camera, it cracks. I don't know if you can see it. So no, it's not. Oh yeah, it is a little bit cracking. I don't know if you can see the cracking. So that's the sucky thing about white core paper. So you can't really use it as far as running it through an embossing folder because the white core will show through. It doesn't really go, do good for, you know, scoring and bending. So I used it as a mat on my, on my card. So the background is done with a solid. And then I just used the paper as the mat. So they are really pretty, I have to say. I liked the crocheted buttons on there. And this one I put two um, seed packets inside. And they fit okay. They're kind of bumpy because of the seed packets and because I have dimensional things on the front. But they do fit in a standard envelope. However, Due to the bumpiness on the front, I don't think they'll send as a envelope mail. You'll probably have to pay a package cost, which is like $4 and something cents. So these will probably go in a happy mail box with other goodies as just a little extra. I won't be able to give these or send these just as a card. So, as you guys know, you've seen, or maybe you haven't, I made some cards using this paper pad, and here is one of the cards I made. It has a lace and a word and button, 
and it's using the Prima Fruit Paradise paper pad and that's what I had handy on my desk and so I was like well these cards aren't that dimensional they're fairly flat except minus the button so I didn't add a button to this one and these again open up and I just put one packet in there and it fits in and slides in and out a lot better than two. So this is the die cut, these nesting dies from Spellbinders. I really like these dies a lot. So I put that in there so you could write a message. And then over here you could write, you know, love, whoever. And so those are my inside of my two and these are the outside. And both of these have sunflowers in them and I do think even though these have brads on them I think that they might go through the post a little bit easier in an envelope so I will leave the tutorial that I followed below so you guys can make these little card not a box but a card they're relatively flat for your seed packets if you want to gift some seed packets to your friends. So anyway, that's my share. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you could leave me a comment, I would love it.